Hello Rockets! On our Art Rocks video today, uh, we are going to be making some of these Japanese cherry blossom trees. Um, if you've gone on a walk outside at all in the last week or two, you might have noticed that some of the trees have these blossoms that are really starting to open up and they look really beautiful. So that's kind of what inspired me to do this video. Um, so for today, you'll need a piece of paper, some paint. Um, I will be using brown, white, and pink, and red. And then to make the blossoms, I'm using some Q-tips. So I have about six here, and you just kind of keep them together and, and kind of dab with them. Um, and then a paintbrush. So I'll go ahead and show you what we're doing. So take your um, brown paint, and I mix a little bit of water in it, and it helps to just get it a little more smooth. So to do the branch, you're just gonna start at the top here and kind of go all the way across. And then you want it to be a little bit thick since it is the branch. Try to go all the way to the edge if you can without getting it, yep, on your table. And then maybe a branch could come down here. And then this part continues. That might can go up. So again, your tree branches can kind of look however you want. And then to get some of the thinner ones like this, you're, you'll use a little bit of water in with your brown paint. And some of these can go down pretty far. And then you can color or paint in the rest of this. I'm gonna add some branches to the top of my tree here. And then maybe a few little ones right here. Okay, so this is the part where you might need to wait for your brown to dry a little bit before you go on to the next um, part of it. So I already did one, so mine is a little bit dry. Once yours is dry, you can go on to the Q-tip stage of it. So you'll take your white, your red, and your pink. I'm gonna start with pink and taking all of my Q-tips so that they're all about even. You will um, go with the white first. Or sorry, this is pink. Go with the pink first. And then just kind of dab it on there. You don't really wanna paint with it. You just kinda of wanna dab it on there. And it can go up fairly far up the branches here. Okay, so once you have most of your pink done, you can take your Q-tips. I wouldn't even necessarily like change size. I'm just gonna keep using the pink and then just dab it into the white and just make a white layer kind of over some of this. And it helps to give it some different, kind of some depth and some different um, shades of, of your pink here. And then I'm gonna take out some of these. I might just use like two little Q-tips for this part, for the red. And you can add just some, some red every once in a while here.
then I am gonna go ahead and turn it over. So I'm not gonna use this side, I'm gonna use the clean side and just add a little bit of white on top of that red using the same Q-tips that I just used for red. And it helps just to kind of lighten it up a little bit. And if you found any places where you think you missed, you can kind of go back, or if you want to take them a little bit higher, you can do that. And then when you're finished, you'll have something like this. So um, the next time you go on a walk this week, maybe, um, just try to pay close attention to how beautiful the trees are right now. I really love this time of spring when we get to see all the flowers coming up and, and the blossoms that start to come on our trees. Um, so send me a picture of what you have finished. I'd love to see what you make.